Welcome to the Yes Garden. Today, I want to talk to you about a very strange fragrance. It is not everybody's favorite, and some people even tell you it's not a good fragrance. But I, I beg to differ. It's called Artisan Aqua by Jean Vovatos. It's a really good aquatic fragrance. But it doesn't smell like a pool or a beach. What does it smell like? It smells like a very clean, kind of soapy... It smells like you are in a very clean adobe room that has an artesian well in the middle of the room that's very somehow sexually appealing. That's how this smells. Aromatic, fresh, kind of spicy, um, citrusy, green, um, not salty, not like a pool, you know, not like, um, you know what smells uh, the opposite of this, but is still an aquatic, is um, Nautica Voyage. For me, those two smells are on the opposite ends of what you can do with aquatic fragrances. This I prefer a little bit better, but it doesn't last very long. That's one thing I will say about this fragrance. It doesn't last very long. I'll talk more about that later. The fragrance notes in this thing are pomelo and mandarin orange kind of in the top. There's some other herbs there. Um, Basil, lavender, sage, and jasmine, kind of in the mid notes. Patchouli, and uh, that's pretty typical for a men's fragrance. Patchouli. Yeah. Patchouli and musk and fur resin in the base notes. It's a really gorgeous, beautiful smell. And I wear it a lot. This fragrance lasts me about four hours. And um, it's beautiful, I really enjoy it, but by about hour five, it's gone. Um, and this last summer, I was using this as kind of my morning fragrance. I'd put it on, enjoy it in the morning. By about noon, it's gone and I got to choose a different fragrance for my evening for I go, when I go play a show, you know, or do an art opening or whatever. I like to smell, it choose a different smell for that without having to take a shower, you know. <laughs> I shower in the morning, put this on, enjoy it, enjoy it, enjoy it. Lunch time comes around, I'm just picking a different fragrance. And then usually by evening, I maybe even choose a third fragrance. But that's because of my high level addiction to fragrances at this point. Um, and that's okay, uh, it's a good drug. Um, this is good drugs. This is really good, Artisan Aqua. If I'm, if I'm scoring it just against all the fragrances in the world, you know, it's like a solid um, seven, seven and a half, you know? And it's because it doesn't last very long that I would give it not a great score. You know, seven and a half foot. Seven and a half is very respectable out of ten. Seven and a half out of ten. Seven and a half out of ten. Uh, it's pretty respectable. But if this lasted, you know, six hours, seven hours, we'd be talking about a nine point fragrance. I think it's great. Um, but I actually, I like that it doesn't last super long because uh, then it allows me to do what I was talking about, make kind of a different choice later in the day. It occurs to me I have some of the fragrance notes here in my garden, or approximations. I suppose we should take a short tour around the garden and sniff them together. Is that something? Let's that, let's see. We've got sage which uh, everybody knows what sage smells like. God, it's good. This stuff, this is holy basil here. It's kind of at the end of the season.
season here. But this stuff almost has a bubblegummy kind of effect. It's crazy. That's one of the craziest fragrances. That holy basil. This guy loves my garden. Don't you? You fucking piece of shit. Lavender, you know. Here, can I get that to focus? Boom. This stuff, it, oh, I just, I love coming out here in the mornings and watering this garden and just giving it a sniff. It's so good. So that fragrance is also in Arthur's and Aqua. These don't smell like anything, but they sure are pretty. I don't mean to turn this fragrance review into a, just a garden tour, but it's happening. Oh no, it's happening. <laughs> we barely escaped that tour of the garden. We, we barely escaped with our lives. That would have been like, um, I don't know, showing you a slideshow of my trip to the Grand fucking Canyon. <laughs> John Vervatos, Artisan Aqua. I really like it, Asterix. I really like it, Asterix. Ew. I got some more shit to say about that. For me, in my world, especially for the price, which, you know, I got this for like 25, 30 bucks, you know? That's gettable in the world. And um, I love it. Um, I'm scoring this for, for my own personal taste. This is a total 8 out of 10 for me. It's I know Artisan Pure lasts longer, has a little different makeup, but of the two, I prefer this fragrance. And I wish this lasted long. Um, like that fucking Artisan Pure lasts a million years. And it's a very different fragrance. Uh, it's beautiful as well. Um, higher end. Smells a little fancier. This a very approachable smell. Still an aquatic, but boy, very unique, I think. Packaging is beautiful, blah, blah. Who gives a fuck about that, I guess? But like, sometimes the packaging is something that really sets the tone for a product, you know? And that happened here. Most of the time, I'm looking at packaging for fragrance brands, I'm thinking, not very creative, not very interesting. But these guys do a great job. So it is worth mentioning for this company. This is a really interesting design that they have. You can't see it, of course, from over there. I'm way far away. And if I get too close, I come into a shadow. Check this out. Oh no, see? See that? Oh, he's not supposed to. Oh, he's not supposed to do that. So, thank you very much for listening to this. I hope you enjoyed this little review of this interesting fragrance. Cheers.